Hi viewer, I welcome you to Elin TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form one, lesson fifteen. The topic is in your tutor Lucy Mobile. Welcome. Let us look at our lesson goals today. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain weather forecasting and also highlight and explain the factors influencing the weather. We start by looking at the weather forecasting. Now, when we talk about the weather forecasting, it is the prediction of weather situation for a given place within a short period of time, like an hour, a day, a week, a month, or a year. You are, you are predicting what is going to take place the next one hour. What will be the atmosphere going to be the next day? How is the atmosphere going to be next week? How is the atmosphere going to be in the month of January? How is the atmosphere going to be in next year? So in that case now, that is what we refer to it as the weather forecasting. There are different methods of doing the weather forecasting. One of them is the ancient methods. This one used by our great, great grandparents. Then the other one, it is the weather law methods. Even today, these ones are used. Then we have the modern methods, like the one that usually takes place in the Goretti weather station. That is in Nairobi. Uh, let us look at the problem that faces the weather forecasting. Yes, they are predicting what is going to happen. But sometimes they face some challenges. The reason for this one, one, it is inaccurate data. When the data that is recorded is inaccurate. And this one now ends up giving the wrong information about the weather forecast. Number two, it is the defective instrument. Remember we have talked about different instruments that are used to measure the element of weather. If at all they have any defect, then it means whatever you are going to get is inaccurate. And in that case now, it means whatever I'm going to forecast won't be effective. And number three, it is personnel with limited skills. If I told the person who is doing the weather forecasting does not have the right skills to make that study, to make that conclusion, to make that forecasting, so in that case now, if the personnel gives what he feels like. If a toy lacks that, this case, then it means that whatever you are going to receive, they are inaccurate. And number four, it is the vagaries of nature. Like the earthquakes, volcanicity. All these ones now result to that, affecting what we say that it is, it is going to happen. So those are the problems that faces the weather forecasters as well as the weather forecast. Okay, let us look at the significance. What are the importance of weather forecasting? One, it determines time for the sea and air travels. Yes, sometimes when you, you are not required to take a sea. And also, there are some times when you are not required to take a hair lift. What? During the misty days, you are not required to take the air lift or air travel. This is the reason, the reason for this one. It, the earlier you get, the more mist it becomes thick. So in that case, you'll get that the time when we have the mist, the Pirates, they get struggles as they are taking the flight. Now, when it comes to the sea travel, during the heavy rain or the storms, they are not required to 
to, to be taken. So now, whether forecasting advises us the time to take the sea and the air traveling. Then the, third, the second one, it determines time when sporting activity takes place. For example, we have the skiing and skating. Skiing and skating cannot be done the time when uh, we, do, we, we have some. This is because the snow will melt. And also, when it comes, there will be no snow. So we time the time for the winter or when the temperatures are low. Then the third one, it determines the fishing activities and have it in the area. So especially when it comes to the fishing competition, it cannot be done during rainy season. It is done the time when it has been forecasted and been said it will be sunny. The fourth one, it helps to determine suitable clothing for the day. If at all you are living in a place and then you are told the next morning it will be raining, then it means that whatever you are supposed to be wearing should cater or should be able to make you sweat in that day's atmosphere. It also helps the farmer to plan his career activities activities carried you know the time to do the plowing the time to do the planting the time to do the harvesting you plan your career within the year then it also a plan suitable housing the house that you're supposed to build through the weather forecasting Oh, now let us look at the factors influencing the weather. How these factors we have talked about them when we are looking at the weather elements. So it is a matter of mentioning them. For example, when we talk about the cloud cover, humidity, this one we have talked about it so much. This one will affect the temperatures. It will also affect the amount of rainfall that is going to be experienced in that given area. Hot it is. The height above the sea level. And how does it or how does it affect the weather? The height above the sea level will affect the hair pressure. It also affects the temperature and also the amount of rainfall that is being experienced in the area. Humidity, it is the amount of moisture content that is present in the atmosphere. It will influence the rainfall and also the temperature of that given place. Then aspect that influences the sunshine, it also influences the temperature and also it will influence the wind. Then we have the intertropical convergence zone. This one, it influences the wind, it also influences the amount of rainfall, it also influences the, the, the humidity and also the air pressure. Then we have the latitude, temperature, rainfall, and also the wind, and also the humidity. Then nearness to the water body, this one will affect the temperature, amount of rainfall that is being experienced, and also the wind. So in that case, those are the elements of the weather. That marks the end of the topic aside of this assignment. State four, significance of weather forecasting. Number two, identify four factors that influence the weather. For more information, you can visit the KLB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book One, that edition. Otherwise, you can get us through the SMS. You can SMS to that number. You can also get us through the YouTube. You can also get us through the Facebook. You can also get us through the Twitter. Otherwise, stay tuned to Edinburgh. Thank you.